Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Today I have some Shang-Chi set news for you guys. These sets have leaked in full. Of course, I'm not going to be showing any of those images, but I am going to be talking about the information that we have about the sets now. So we're getting three of them, a 30454 Shang-Chi and the Great Protector, 55 pieces, $5. That's going to be a poly bag. 76176 Escape from the Ten Rings, 321 pieces, $30. And 76177 Battle at the Ancient Village, 400 pieces for $40. The poly bag just includes a basic minifigure of Shang-Chi, the same one as the rest of the sets, and a miniature build of the dragon in the largest set. I really like when we get mini builds like that, and of course a Lego Marvel poly bag with minifigures is nothing to sneeze at. Escape from the Ten Rings is going to include a yellow and black car, two dark blue motorcycles, and there's a small turret with a spring-loaded missile. Now I had to guess at the figure names because the box pictures are pretty grainy, but we're getting Morris, which is a new molded animal of some sort, no idea what that is. Then we have Shang-Chi, of course, Wenwu, who's the Mandarin, Katie, and Razor Fist. So Katie and Razor Fist are my guesses because that's what I think like what the names look like based on who we know is in the cast. Katie is Aquafina's character who's either going to be Shang-Chi's love interest or his sister or like the Mandarin's daughter. Very confusing. I'm surprised that that could be her because I thought that that was going to be like a code name. But Razor Fist is going to be one of the villains that he has to fight, I think. And the other reason why I think that that minifigure is Razor Fist is because it looks like there's like some kind of blade on their hand. The Shang-Chi minifigure itself is really cool. He just has like some, a nice like red suit with some great black like embroidery detailing on the front. The biggest set is Battle at the Ancient Village, 400 pieces, $40. This includes Morris, Shang-Chi, and Wenwu again, but there are new minifigures of Xia Ling and Death Dealer. So Xia Ling is played by Menger Zhang. I don't know who her character is. I couldn't find anything about her when I looked it up. Death Dealer does seem to be a minor Marvel villain, but again, I couldn't find much information about him. I'm guessing that they're going to be either just be like two kind of enemies that Shang-Chi has to fight in like the tournament to win the Ten Rings, or I think Xiao Ling could also be like an MI6 agent, part of like the Agents of Atlas team that are rumored to be in the movie. The build is a dragon, like a good medium-sized dragon. It's white and dark red. It's got Mixel's ball joints, a lot of like curved pieces. It's very organic looking and pretty small limbs that don't look too poseable. So like that's probably my least favorite part of the build. There is like a blue water base that it lies on. And overall, I do really like the set, although it looks a little bit small for $40, the build. It looks more like a $30 build. But as you can tell, both of these sets are pretty heavy on minifigures, which is something that I'm very thankful for. I'm really excited for these sets. I love it when LEGO does two sets per Marvel movie. It's just really nice because you can get so many more characters. As you can see with these Shang-Chi sets, they're really like going all out on the figures, which is something that I definitely appreciate. So that's it for today. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and check out my website, goldenninja3000.com. I'll see you guys with more videos soon. Bye for now.